I've seen this floating around Twitter. A lot of people are suggesting that the 49ers could or should get Bill Belichick to replace Steve Wilkes if Steve Wilkes becomes a head coach somewhere and Bill Belichick doesn't. Now, you and I just went through the leaderboards on BetUS. Maybe the odds makers just don't know. But I saw Bill Belichick's name at the top or near the top of a lot of different teams' potential head coaching hire. And I didn't see Steve Wilkes anywhere. Now that's maybe that's a mistake. Maybe 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 he's a, a you know a real dark. He sh- I would hire Steve Wilkes ahead of Bill Belichick, but wow, yeah. he's sixteen games away from the all time record of most wins all time, and now he's going to put that to the side just to help Kyle Shanahan and his legacy as a coordinator in his mid seventies. <laughs> that is just awfully generous. What do you think? You think he'll do it? <laughs> <laughs> the setup is so gold. That's a hell of a setup. So, <laughs> what's in it for Bill? Yeah, come on. Well, first of all, can we have some fun with this for a little bit? Can we have some yeah. fun with it, Larry? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just yeah, have man. You like it. put that out as a uh, Larry. I love you. You put that on Twitter this morning. I'm thinking like, yeah, that's a good idea. He's a really good coach. I'm thinking, yeah. Like a really good coach, like like the greatest like, coach ever. Yeah. Wow. Like, like 16 games away from being the winningest coach of oh. all time. <laughs> nah. So, I, I, that, maybe. Maybe he's just tired of being a head coach and he wants, you know what? I'm going to go out, hang out in Silicon Valley. Hey, and This is one where we're going to be on the same team on this one. Uh, I agree with you. There's, I don't agree with that whatsoever. And, you know, that's more of, you know, Larry, it just shows how, how much of a dedicated fan he is. He sees everything through the guise of why wouldn't somebody want to come to the Niners? That's true. It's an open team. Yeah. Well, well, so, of, yeah. Why wouldn't you want to no, be? I love here? it. Yeah. Love it. So, you know, yeah. the way I see it is, is that, yeah, Bill Belichick. Um, he's got his lay of the land of where he wants to go, quite honestly. Um, there are some teams that I'm not trying to say that every team wants him, but um, pretty much. And there's a lot of teams that, to be honest with you, that he would turn down, no, much rather teams that would turn him down. So uh, I, I think his coordinator days are a little more further down his career, if they are at all. Coaches, head coaches who go back to being coordinators are usually guys like who aren't going to be in the hall of fame. Well, North Turner. Yeah. North Turner was a good head coach that he went yeah, but back he wasn't like the- a, like a super bowl winning head coach. Okay. How many so who was super bowl winning head coaches <laughs> become coordinators in their seventies? That being said though, maybe, maybe it's right. I don't, I think his days as a head coach are done. He had his opportunity to run New England exactly how he freaking wanted it, and that team was terrible. What team was going to look at Bill Belichick honestly and be like, yeah, man, run the show. We love what you did in New England without Tom Brady. Why don't you bring that all over here, all the head, the assistant coaches, and, and you pick the, the quarterback. You do the drafting. Like, nah, I don't want, I don't want to do the, any of that. Well, well, let me say this. I disagree with you because okay. teams do it. These th- th- You got to understand, when we think about teams, ultimately – there's one Easter. single point of failure with teams Easter. in human error because you're dealing yeah. with billionaires. They're the single, yeah. they're the single yes and no. And then if you get somebody like, let's look at it. Joe Gibbs got brought back after he been winning three championships. Sean Payton got brought back after winning one championship. You know what I'm saying? Mike McCarthy got brought back after winning one championship. All right? right. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, Bill can't come back. It's true. You don't think that somebody's gonna bite, you know? So but what I think is funny is like from from Larry's perspective, he's thinking he might be a coordinator. I'm thinking no, he's gonna want to run the show, not just be the head coach, but the general manager. And and maybe that's why Atlanta, maybe Atlanta will be willing to give him all of that. Like what what do they have going for them? They don't have anything over there. Hey, just true. take it all. You know who else did it happen for? And they got to be able to run the whole show even after they cooked the books and got and got the same embarrassment. Mike Shanahan. Yeah. When he came back to Washington, they gave him full car blanche. That's true. He was that's a great comparison. He was at Denver forever, overstayed his welcome. It was clear it was it was time for him to go. And Washington said, That's our guy. Yep. Yep. That's go our ahead. Guy. Bring in John Beck, draft uh, I mean, trade for Donovan McNabb, draft RG3. It all Ricky Williams, who would be your hire after Wilkes? Okay, so if, if assuming Bill Belichick isn't available and Dan Quinn 
isn't either. I don't know. I mean, I mean, is Mike is uh, Robert Sala doing good over there in New York? Are they still hanging on? Seems like they're going to give him one more year. All right, okay. Because I'm still looking. I, I still think that that was out of all of the coaches that left our organization. I kind of and I love D'Amico, but Robert Sala was a special guy. I would love. I to get agree. Him. Now, the, the what, what snake bit Robert Sala with the Jets was he took the wrong Niners offensive coach. He took mm-hmm. Mike Lafleur. That was a mistake. Yeah. He they also the drafted the wrong quarterback. But in retrospect, there was no right quarterback to take with that second pick. There, if None of them were. There down. wasn't. And that's to me why Harbaugh should not take the commander's job. Dude, it's a crapshoot. And yes, D'Amico got, you know, struck gold with C.J. Stroud, but he, he, they didn't know before they, they took know. Stroud. They didn't freaking know. Like, they hoped. The Panthers hoped. Yeah. I wouldn't want to tie my whole career to that. Because look at Nick Saban, right? He tried to go to the NFL, didn't get a quarterback, left in two years. He's like, you know what? No, I'm not doing this. Nah, anyway. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's dangerous. And like you said, like even in the even in the 2021 draft, we were all saying that out of the five can't miss quarterbacks. Can't miss. They were can't miss, can't miss. out of the five can't miss quarterbacks. It was, be the 1983. It was supposed to be as good or better than the 1983 class. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. And it, it comes out that they weren't even close. And at, even close. at this stage of the game, the crown jewel, think of this is how wild football is. Trey Lance has been in the league for four years. He's only played four games. Three. All right. Yeah. Three. Zach Wilson has been benched twice in his entire, in his career. Okay. Mac Jones. Mac Jones has been ousted by his locker room and the organization. He's persona yeah. non grata. They want to get rid of him at all times. Yeah. And right Who now, seen that coming. Right. And right now, Trevor Lawrence, who was a can't miss prospect since the Andrew eighth Luck. grade. Ask. He was can't miss since the eighth grade. They've been talking about this kid since he was eating gushers and <laughs> sipping on Capri Suns. I still eat and, and now I love gushers. And now, pause. You they're looking at they're looking at the potential of coming up on the question of is he it is he a bust or not it's wild and then you got cj stroud still in his rookie year and he just it's clear that he's just better than all of them it's yeah, wild throwing a nico collins james welsh says i'm going to wager there will be one or two more head coach vacancies uh vacancies after the postseason harbaugh and bill will wait until they have the full picture first That's hey man or someone wants to coach justin herbert mm-hmm. That's the job. Yeah, unless you think you can knock it out in the NFL draft, God, bless, you know, bless your heart. Maybe you can, but that's the job. I think. The thing Serenity. that kind of sucks with Justin Herbert too is that <laughs> Staley did such a bad job with him that any coach who comes in automatically has that anxiety of not of not crapping the bed because it's kind of yeah. like we've already seen what Staley has done with them. You got no choice. So. Well. That, and that's why I think it's such a good job. Like you're gonna do so well. Like that team was really, really poorly coached, underperforming. They could do a lot better, a lot better. I think they got a lot of talent. Serenity says Bill B in the Niners is like a Tasmanian devil in a goat yoga class. <laughs> okay, uh, Fernando says Tie Fighter Tie. I don't know why that seat keeps going, but I like it. Chris Talarico says the one thing with Harps is that he can coach a quarterback and make them better. I think that any of those quarterbacks from Lance's class would be starters under him. They can. Yeah. They can. <laughs> I mean, today... I mean, you don't, don't want to coach man. Herbert? I don't know. Would I want to coach Herbert? But I, no, from Harbaugh's perspective, from like he should go to Seattle, make Geno Smith his Alex Smith, and then bring in you know, his Colin Kaepernick, his next one. Go to Seattle. I want to have Harbaugh in the NFC West. Is it too much to ask? 